Okay, so I figured we're gonna do things a little bit differently today. I'm walking around and I just wanna make an introduction that is a little less boring than me sitting on the desk. So I wanted to talk about uh, phase and using a node expression or automation to control phase and to make, a, to make the, the kick and bass relationship a little less uh, conflicted, if you will. Now, usually when people are starting out, they don't really know about like phase and phase cancellation and all that shit because that's like kind of like uh, an advanced level of synthesis or sound, if you will, I don't know. And um, if you know these things, they're like the black magic of sound. I mean, why, is, why does this sound so bad? Because the fucking phase is not right. And if you fix those things before mixing, you don't need to EQ anything, you don't need to compress anything. Well, you can if you want to, but you know, you know what I mean. So, uh, let's go back to the bloody table, the bloody desk, <laughs> and uh, let's do it. Let's do this. Okay, so the first thing that I did, I opened this up on the master channel. It's Volume Shaper 4, and I'm using it as an oscilloscope. Each synth has uh, the phase knob in a different location, and for serum, it's right here. So uh, the phase just lets you choose where the sound wave begins. And it sounds a little bit different depending on the location. So I'm using a serum here with this kick. And you can tell that Different locations give different results, and uh, different locations sound better than other ones. And the trick is that you can automate this thing using automation, or you can use a uh, node expression to do that. So let's switch it up a little bit, and I change it up over here, so we can hear the kick and bass relationship. look over here, you can see what's changing. So each note uh, has a different phase relationship with the kick. So I want to automate this thing and I use a uh, MIDI to do that. And uh, we just need to enable, enable host automation and uh, learn MIDI CC. And I'm just using note, express, note expression to do that. So I'm just choosing uh, some random uh, controller like uh, CC13. And uh, it should be latched over to phase over here. You can see that it's moving. And uh, that way I can each note can have a different phase, so let's just check that out for a second. And after I'm done with all that shit, it sounds kind of like this. baseline and everything now we could also fix uh, phase issues by moving the track a little bit and moving it like uh, minus 2.38 samples I think and you could also do things like this let's just switch over over here because uh, we can hear it a little bit better because the kicks align with the and I'm just gonna switch over to retriggering because the kicks are not on quarters anymore and if we look at the automation you can see that each note has a different uh, face Let's try 
try and fuck it up and see what happens. It still sounds okay, but it's like the teeniest little difference that makes all the difference. So, uh... And you could also, uh, if you don't want to use the track delay, uh, it's actually in milliseconds, not in samples. So you can uh, use hacks kind of like this, moving it a tiny bit over to the side or to the other side and... Notice I'm not using any EQ, any sidechain, I mean besides cutting a little bit of the low end, but uh, it just sounds good in itself, so... You don't need to fix shit in the mix if you do everything properly in the beginning. Now, if you don't have note expression, you can use automation to do the same thing. Or you could use uh, MIDI to do the same thing and basically write uh, the face positions here. So, thank you for joining me. This was uh, pretty short, but uh, hopefully you found it informative and it'll help you getting better mixes and making better music. So, thank you very much and see you next time. <laughs>